This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043. The new album is Forwards, and I'm holding it up right here for the uh, cameras in the studio. Two shows coming up at the Gramercy Theater, uh, The Gathering, June 23rd and 24th. All the info, thealarm.com. We are joined in the studio by our good old friend. He's not old, but he's our old good friend, uh, Mike <laughs> Peters of The Alarm. Uh, he joins us. Uh, first things first, I've lost count how many times you've beat cancer's ass, Mike, uh, but y- you did it again, uh, so just give us a health update on how you are, you look fantastic. Oh, thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm great. You know, I've lost count of the times I've, I've stood in that boxing ring with cancer and uh, come out victorious. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm glad to, and alive to tell the story. I had a bit of a rough year uh, in 2022. I was diagnosed with pneumonia, Oof. which I know you know a lot about as well. Yeah, I had it. Yeah, for sure. And uh, and then it then my lungs filled with blood and it triggered off a whole response to my leukemia and not good I was in hospital for a long time and. Uh, there is actually a photo that I saw of you standing up. You have an IV mobile yeah. unit uh, <laughs> attached to your arm, and there's a guitar right in the background. <laughs> there was, yeah. I got Jules, my wife, to bring the guitar in because I knew it was in for a long time. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to keep my fingers going and be able to play. I, I didn't, you know, I was quietly. Yeah. And, and then the other patients on the wall say, Turn it up, you know, play a bit louder. We're enjoying this. And the nurses were liking it. They were hanging around my bedside while I was playing. It's and good to get the nurses on your side. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they, they were like, hey, play us something new. You know, I was thinking, I haven't got any. And the next minute I started writing new songs, you know, and all that. Is, and it, so it all came out of the hospital. Um, England and Wales are not really known for their very high mountains, but there are some for sure. Uh, and I saw and read about a certain mountain that you climbed for a specific reason uh you put it on your instagram account and uh, tell us what that was all about yeah well when i was in hospital uh, from the window of the cancer center i can see mount snowden which is the highest mountain in england and wales how high is that mountain? it's uh, over three thousand feet it's a uh, three and a half thousand okay so feet. you the weather might be different at the top of that mountain, absolutely uh, yeah. as opposed to in the valley or whatever on the same day yeah without a doubt yeah. right and i wanted to I, it's always been a symbol to me to get well to when i'm i know i'm well enough when i can get back to the top of the mountain so i i went up there it was my uh 64th birthday was it <laughs> snowing that day it, it was, was it, i mean it was beautiful on the ground but when we got to the top it was absolutely freezing it was really challenging windy and snow oh, and everything frostbite fingers if, if it, luckily i, I mean what gloves. a metaphor for like your life i mean just it that, that's perfect that's right? it i agree you know and then you meet all kinds of you know i met one guy coming down and he had no legs you know and he was and he, he'd been to the top and you're thinking well, if he can do it so can i well yeah i mean geez you know you meet ama- amazing people with amazing stories on the mountains it's a fantastic place to go when you um, need to get your life back together yeah mike peters is with us from the alarm uh the two shows coming up at the gramercy theater june 23rd and 24th all the info the alarm.com and of course the new album is forwards uh you mentioned that you wrote a lot of these songs while you were you know recuperating uh and do you want to play one for us and will, if so yeah. uh, tell us about it and then just go for it yes it's a song called there's always another way and in hospital these days you have to generate your own optimism people don't it's a litigious society we live in unfortunately and people don't like you to give you too much hope so i luckily i had my guitar and i made my own um way out if you like and and there's, there's a lot of noise in hospital and and the, there's the beeps of the heart monitors doo, doo, oh yes yeah oh, they, i didn't think about that you know and they became my my little rhythm machine and and uh, beatbox you know it, right the songs are happening and here it is this is called there's always another way Have you heard the news that it's all over? Have you heard them say there's no way out of here? Well, I don't believe it. There's always another way. There's always another way. There's always another, always another way Life is cabaret Entertainment As we come and go Through the mirrors and smoke I don't believe it There's always another way 
there's always another way There's always another, always another way I'll send no flowers No I'll shed no tears Cause there's another way out of here Out of here There's always another way There's always another way Out of here Out of here Have you heard the news? Have you heard them say there's always another way Always another way Always another way There's always another way There he is, Mike Peters of The Alarm, playing live for us here on Q104.3's He's Out of the Box. Uh, the new album is Forwards. Uh, you can see it right now, and I'm holding it up for the cameras right here. The Alarm will be at the Gramercy Theater here in New York City, June 23rd and 24th for the gathering, all the info, thealarm.com. Mike, I'm looking at the guitar that you're playing there. It says The Vigilante, <laughs> and uh, I love that, but it reminds me of, um, was it... Uh, was it Woody Guthrie? Woody Guthrie. Um, uh, this machine kills hey, fascists. Vigilante, man. <laughs> yeah, that's Is it. it yeah. Was that the inspiration, or was it just something else no, you wanted to that, decorate? That was it. Early on in the Alarms career when we started, we, we always played acoustic guitars with electric guitar pickups. Oh, right. Okay, and yeah. That, that was part of our sound, and, uh, and we loved decorating them with stickers, and we, we were big fans of Woody Guthrie, and we loved the fact that he had this machine kills fascists on his guitar, and Fantastic. we did our own version of How it. How great is that? That's I mean, brilliant. Just, yeah. So we've, I've always decorated the guitar, for every tour and this the, this, the bit, this I've got two the Vigilante and the Deceiver <laughs> I love it they may look acoustic but they sound deadly as loud as can be um, <laughs> you know Jules was telling me about the some things that you have uh, built and have bought and created in yeah. uh, your small village of Wales tell us about the village and uh, what's new there's something you yeah. got like a I don't know if it's a hotel or <laughs> whatever it is but you tell, tell us what's going on there yeah join the pandemic um we we, did, we were broadcasting our own internet show for the fans from our own living room and when the pandemic pr uh, restrictions were easing up we could do events for 30 people in wales that's all we could do right and so we, we started inviting them to stay at the our residential studio the chapel studios and then next door was a, a bar and we and, and all the fans would end up in the bar, and we ended up playing gigs there for thirty. And it was, as they said in the advert, it was so good we ended up buying the bar. Wow! And uh, and then we we have these alarm staycations, and fans come from all over America, and they book into the studio chapel apartments and stay for a whole weekend. And they're part of our internet broadcast. I'm calling you guys in. next time I'm over there in the UK. And I get to DJ like you, Josh. I get yeah. to play the records. Oh, that's great. I'm on the decks, play my vinyl records. It's cool. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> um, I know that you and the Alarm Band go way back with you, too. Uh, I'm wondering if you have read uh, Bono's book. I, I listened to the audio book. The audio book. Yeah, okay, what did you think? About, I thought it was great. I yeah. Thought, it was really good. You know, and I know the guy, so, but I thought there was so much I didn't know about him when I read the book. Me and, too. I mean, the, the times and what, he spent in Washington learning how the machinations of government work and what he did for Africa. I mean, you know, politics loss is rock and roll's gain in a way because he's, and he would have been an incredible politician. He, he's he's like the people he talks about. He's like Nelson Mandela. He's like Martin Luther King. He can he can he's one of those guys that actually changes things and makes yeah. it happen. It's incredible. Um, and unusual alliances with people like uh, President Bush yeah, like well, back he, in the day. And yeah, I, I love the chapter about Harry Bell. Lafonte when he was saying he, he was one of the first musicians who 
got involved in activism and he was part of the Martin Luther King crew and he right. they learned how to talk to and, and deal with people who were in their way who they didn't see eye to eye with but they knew sometimes you have to converse with right. the enemy yeah. to find a way to peace don't you and definitely what, Bono's brilliant at that stuff you know and he, he was always great at that when we toured with him in on the war tour in, in 1982 when the war came out we well before the album came out we heard the songs Sunday bloody Sunday yeah surrender New Year's Day before they've been released and uh, and when I went to see Bono's solo show oh where did you see it in, in that... Manchester the Manchester Apollo okay and, and he, he he sent me a note out before the show with X marks a spot and he, he he stopped the show he wanted to talk about when the alarm and you two had played in that very same oh venue 40 God. years before and Ali's wife came out to say hello to me and Jules and it was a and they sent me the great email over Christmas and uh, yeah what a great fantastic gentleman he is oh fantastic uh, I want to play the song whatever from the new album um, and this is the song that you shot the video for as well right yeah I did I, I went up to, into our local mountain and, and in, in the snow <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was a uh, it was a challenge but it was like going out to Snowden after the cancer I knew I'd I wanted it to symbolize that return journey to get your health back in order yeah and I think nowadays you have to find that strength and the will to to overcome those challenges within yourself you know there's, you can't really get them from a therapist you, you, you know doctors can give you inspiration but you have to find it yourself really to get walking again if you've been told you can't walk or if you've been challenged by cancer you know find that strength to even get yourself one more minute you know I recently had a friend of mine fly back from Australia he, his mum was passing and she held on and held on till he got there. Whoa. And they had five minutes together, and then she passed away in his arms. And to have that five minutes is beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You'd do anything for those five minutes and always remember that. Well, strength, you just mentioned the strength. Well, obviously, that and the, the alarm go together as well. <laughs> uh, it is Mike Peters of The Alarm, and I'll hold up this album again. Uh, the new album is Forwards, and uh, The Alarm will be at the Gramercy Theatre June 23rd and 24th. You can get all the info at thealarm.com. I'm going to see you guys in Wales. I'm going to come You're to coming, the Jonathan, you got come to the bar, invite. and you know I'm going to spend the night, and we're going to hang you out. Can be we're the going to rock DJ. out. We can sure. Do, you know, live from Q104.3, Jonathan Clark in the village in Wales. <laughs> I'd love it, <laughs> uh, Mike. Great to see you. Thank Thanks, you so Jonathan. much. Thank you. This is Out of the Box with your host Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box Sunday nights at nine on Q104.3.